Hello, this is Dark Boyer. This is in response to Stefan Selmar. It's a video, black, brown, but no white pride vid. Basically, this is what I think. Yes, whites should be able to say white pride. Um, the only thing, the only problem is why? Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but we people just do not see whites in general as being an oppressed group so people are always going to suspect us or suspect the intent behind what you're saying um, that's all I need to say on that front another comment is um, Stefan is making some points some valid points though we can't discount everything that Stefan is saying when she opposes or he or she opposes interracial marriage because she wants to preserve her race well that's not racist I, I don't think that is racist necessarily because if you think about it many blacks oppose interracial marriage because they want to preserve their race as a matter of fact this argument about interracial mixing or interracial uh, interracial marriage in order to preserve one's race I heard from blacks first not whites I've heard that Louis Farrakhan said that blacks blacks should uh, stick with their own race in terms of interracial marriage is because they are the minority in America and if they continue to interracially mix within the white population their uniqueness will be destroyed well that is the same basic same argument that white nationalists are saying they're saying that if they continue to interracially mix with non-whites and it's not just blacks their physical uniqueness will be destroyed so you cannot have it both ways you can't say that just because they're a majority which they feel that they're going to become a majority later down the road that if they start opposing or strongly opposing interracial marriage based upon preserving their race you cannot say that they're racist if you're not going to say for blacks opposing interracial marriage because they want to preserve their race I hope that makes sense so I'm not sitting here saying that everything that what she's saying is wrong I think some of her things are one-sided because the same things that she's saying about double standards for whites, I could find black nationalists or even people that are toward a, are not even black nationalists, uh, they can present arguments that say there are double standards for, double standards against blacks. I just want to think before I'm saying. I'm not the best speaker in the world. I'm not a speech I'm not going to try to be the best speaker in the world. I'm just trying to state my opinion. So I know some of you guys will sit there and say, well, Work on your diction. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't get paid to speak, okay? So I'm just a normal person just trying to express my opinion, so I'm not going to sit here and practice my speech. Most people can understand what I'm saying. Maybe it'll have takes a little bit of time, but whatever. Well, whatever. I think people can understand what I'm saying. The bottom line is, let me just read Jess again. We address this again. There are black people who oppose interracial marriage because they want to preserve their race because they are a minority. They feel that continuously interracial mixing in terms of interracial sex will destroy the uniqueness of their black race. They feel that it is happening right now. So you have black nationalists like Louis Farrakhan opposing interracial marriage because of the fear that this continued trend will destroy the uniqueness, the physical uniqueness and perhaps the cultural uniqueness of the black race. If we do that in turn, or if in, in turn, if, and it has been stated as a fact that whites will probably become a, major, a minority in, United, in the United States, um, if that is fact, we cannot be surprised by whites saying they oppose interracial mixing because they fear it will destroy the uniqueness and the reality of a pure white race. Okay. And on a global scale, 
if whites are a minority, we can't expect, we cannot expect whites not to oppose interracial mixing because they're a minority and they're afraid that their uniqueness and their uh, quote unquote influence in the world, not necessarily military influence in the world, will be destroyed. So black nationalists can't sit there and call white nationalists racist for opposing interracial marriage. Or opposed to yeah, but yeah, just opposed to interracial marriage or any other measure that they fear will destroy the uniqueness of their race. It's that simple. And Stefan, do I am I a supporter of white nationalism? No. Am I a supporter of black nationalism? Black nationalism? No. Because here's the thing. Me being we have to be careful about this black pride thing. Because if black pride saying that we gotta be proud of our race and we're gonna use history to be proud of our race, and I'm speaking as a black man, then how come whites how come whites can't be proud of their race? We already know that white history is taught uh, in practice already. However, if someone wants to espouse that and say literally I'm proud to be white because I'm proud of Sir Isaac Newton, I'm proud of um, Einstein, he is white. I know some of you white nationalists want to call him just a Jew, but he is white. Einstein, he, uh, I want to be proud of Napoleon, I want to be proud of all these other people. I mean, how can you call them racist? So that's the double-edged sword. So that's all I got to say. Have a nice day.